Today we're gonna learn so much. Basically all the ways how not to do evolution. And what I've learned since last time is that these guys need a lot of sunlight, at least in the way that I build them. Sunlight is like coffee, you need lots of it. But for now we need to eat colorful clouds until we're ready to evolve. So zooming way way up, we just need to find ourselves an orange one, otherwise known as ammonia, and just like that we've eaten enough to evolve. And our species population changed by plus 70 because of reproduction. But every time we evolve we're also going to move an area. We're basically going uh, over to here now, but eventually we're going to work our way to the surface where there's more sunlight. Because sunlight is going to feed us thanks to thylakoids. Last time I didn't realize how badly they needed sunlight, so I'm going to put one of those here. And then maybe also give myself just a little more mass. That is going to slow me down, but I need a little bit of girth. And why do we need girth you ask? Well to be honest, I don't really know, I just want to be big. And in theory, the more surface area this thing has, the more spikes we can fit on it. And spikes are very important to evolution. Found the ammonia very quick in this area. Definitely going to need some glucose though, because we're definitely burning glucose and not creating it at this point. And that's actually a pretty big problem for me, because when my glucose levels get low, we actually start to die. And we don't want to die, that's counterproductive to evolution. And thanks to these delicious clouds of stuff, we're ready to evolve and move again. One step closer to the surface. Although moving from here to here has an increase of 0% sunlight, but that's okay because we're one step closer. I really would like to add a tail uh, sooner than later that way we can move quicker, but we don't have enough production yet to do that. We need to be at the surface before we get those kind of things. So for now I'm just going to add a few more thylakoids in preparation for the surface. We're not allowed to have nice things yet. And in general, I'm just not allowed to have nice things because I ruin everything I touch. And I think without a predatory spike, I can't put things like this in my mouth. I don't really know how it works. I just kind of absorb things until they're inside of me, which is a lot of fun. Evolution works in mysterious ways, especially when I'm at the helm. We can't eat the meteorite yet, but thanks to this pink cloud, we're ready to evolve one more time. Which brings us to the Pangonian uh, Mesopelagic. Which actually gives us a 1% increase to sunlight, minus 2% temperature, which I don't think should uh, factor too much for us. I should probably also be paying attention to what kind of compounds we're going to have in these areas because these are important. So let's add a few of these up here to give us some nice gaps in the middle. I'm not sure why, I just kind of want a few gaps. And to be fair, if you wanted a creature that made sense, you wouldn't be here. And now we look like this. And we're already dying for some reason. We're out of food, that's why. I had such a good plan, yet I'm still not surprised at all that I can't create a basic creature that can just survive. That's okay because as I restart it gives me a small store of glucose that we're burning through fairly quickly but we should be able to find a white cloud out here somewhere. Or maybe just absolutely nothing at all. There's an orange cloud, I think that's full of iron and it's not very white in color so I'm pretty sure we're gonna get no glucose out of it. Okay we found what we're looking for, there's a few white clouds here so that's gonna top us up on glucose so we can survive, that should give us enough time to find the other colors we need, being purple and orange. That's literally the extent of my scientific knowledge. We need to eat purple and orange to evolve. I'm just proud I can get the colors right. But there we go, as we eat lots of this, our storage is almost full at 23 glucose. Uh, while we're at it, we're gonna eat some extra purple too, because that probably can't hurt. If we have extra stuff, that's probably gonna be to our benefit. There should be some orange in here as well, so that should hopefully give us what we need to get to the surface, where we're really going to thrive. And I think we just increased our mass thanks to mitosis, because look how big we are, look how much storage we have. We're just an empty ball consuming clouds in the ocean. At least I assume this is the ocean, I don't actually know for sure. Science. But we are ready to evolve. Before I do that, I'm going to eat as much glucose as I can. That way we're ready to go for the next area because, as I learned, being prepared actually helps. That's also why I fail continually at life. Anyways, we got about 30 glucose, so let's evolve and move up. So if we take ourselves from here to move here, we're going to have uh, less of all of this stuff, but look at all that sunlight. Move to this patch. And then suddenly these thylakoids are going to be basically everything we need to feed ourselves, at least until we mess with things further and probably ruin that entirely. But we also have a nice girthy body to work off of. We'll be able to cover that in whatever we want pretty soon. We're probably not going to be super quick, but if my theory is correct, we should actually be making glucose. Yes, we are. So now we don't have to find white clouds anymore. We feed ourselves off of sunlight. So here's where we're going to save the game because from here it's only downhill. But this creature should be happy that it had some uphill to begin with. I made it thrive until now. It's going to get weird. Logically, I think the first thing we should add is going to be a little bit of speed. That way if something comes to kill me, I can get away from it. Because as I found out before, if I can't escape things, I basically just die. But that also makes me think that if I can move very fast, then other things can just sit there and die while I eat them. Basically, I'm going to make a rocket spike. And I've even maxed out on glucose already. Just need to find the ammonia and then we're going to add some legs. 
the loneliest little blob in the world, but I finally found my ammonia. And there's enough mystery goo to get my evolution going. It's just a question now of whether I can afford one of those, and I definitely can't. We need more food production. So I think it's time we add some metabolosomes, because those are going to turn glucose into ATP. And I guess we're just going to go extra girthy on this one. But that did put me far closer to being able to afford one of these, and in fact, I can now. It's beautiful. And we're still, oh, we're actually losing glucose slightly now, so I might have to retilt that value. But you see what I'm getting at? This is going to work out great. But now that we've done this and I swam into that, we have the enemies arriving. They don't have spikes yet, so I'm not that worried, and I am faster than them. Look at these idiots, they put their spikes on backwards. What are they going to do back there, stupid? But I definitely need more glucose production, because we're at a slight deficit right now. Shouldn't take more than a few more additions to put it back into a surplus. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to sacrifice some of it to ATP at times just to add more wigglers. Might have to add a spike at some point just to be able to fight some of these guys off. Though as long as they're designed backwards, I'm not too worried about it, but there might be a lot of them out there. As long as I keep my speed up, I'll be just fine now. They can chase me as long as they want. They'll never catch me. I just found enough ammonia to get my next level up and we have enough reserves, so I think we're going to go ahead and do that right as my friends come to probably impale themselves on the spikes. Not a lot of brain cells going on down here. I just added another two green lumps to put my glucose production up. And then next we're going to be able to turn that into ATP and that's going to afford us another tail or maybe a spike. I don't know yet. I am going to be slightly slower now due to my added mass, but I'll still be faster than those morons. And as long as I'm fairly careful here, I should be able to fight everything I need because we've got white, purple, and orange. Oh good, they're about as fast as I am currently, so that's not going to get annoying at all. But I just found the mother load. Look at all the colors here. Surely some of this has got to be good for my idiot. And we have enough glucose right now that I'm going to go for a little upgrade. I don't know if I'm going to get away with using cytoplasm because this also turns my glucose into the ATP. And ATP is what I need for more speed basically. So let's try putting one of those here and one of those here, then seeing if we can afford a tail. And I think we probably definitely cannot because these are super expensive. Not even close. So maybe let's try another orange squishy thing. That might be enough for a tail. And it's not. So basically our base movement is costing 14 ATP, our flagellum is costing 7 ATP, and our osmo regulation is 15 ATP. So we're currently producing 36.6 and using 36.5. So we're almost balanced. I need to get that way unbalanced to add more legs. So let's try a chloroplast. It produces glucose, but at a very high rate. It does have an osmo regulation cost of three, which is definitely pretty big. Oh, but I'm not allowed to get that until I get the nucleus, which is an osmo regulation cost of 10. And look how big it is. If I put that anywhere, it's going to completely destroy me. So I need to do way better before I get that. So I guess we're just going to get a little bit bigger and hope that we can still outrun the things we need to outrun. Basically, I added one green and one red. That means I'm producing 46 and using 41. While forever being chased by these guys, but I think they are actually slowly dying because if they're chasing me, they're not eating anything. They're trying to eat me, but they can't get me yet. I'll turn around and eat them eventually. Oh, I got a second tail though. I guess that was due to osmosis, so now I'm going faster than them. I think for now, while I've got this second tail, I'm just going to load up all my stores on as much purple and orange as I can get my hands on. And the game might have crashed, mostly because of what's going on over here. A bunch of my idiots swam into the other idiots, and it's just not very happy with that. I can only ever break things when I'm not trying to break things. I think that since I'm also going through a bunch of iron, I'm going to buy a Restocyanin. and that's going to turn iron into ATP as well. And that's going to help me because already look at the difference it made. We're now producing 51 and using 42. And you know what? If I've learned anything, it's that things are going to be constantly ramming me from behind. So I'm going to put a spike facing backwards. Although that does make me quite a bit slower, but this is a risk I'm willing to take. See, this would be much better. Something coming at me, I gotta do a stop and I'm gonna ram it to death. Probably also could have placed that spike better, but we'll make it work. Okay, I just remembered how to engulf things. I should have been doing this for a while, but I'm stupid. But at least now we can stab things and then engulf them, so it's really just fair this way. And that really boosts me up along. Look at all this stuff we're getting. We've got two spikes now. I'm gonna go for something a little bit risky here. I'm gonna leave my spike where it is, but I'm gonna add another tail. Adding another metabolism uh, seems to have helped because now my ATP production is back in the surplus even with the second tail. Then I'm going to add another green guy just kind of for fun. And there we go, we're happy again. We're actually making glucose just by being alive. No, we're actually losing it slightly, but you get the point. I'm just impressed that we somehow made it this far. But I'm definitely, definitely going to need more glucose production because without that we start to die very quickly. They're all dying. This is perfect. This is my ocean now. Stab. Stab, whirlwind of death. This is perfect. 
This is kind of what I envisioned happening a while ago. It just took me a while to get here. Look at all the things I have hanging off me now. Thanks, guys. I'll remember you forever. I mean, do we need more spikes already? I don't know what to add anymore. For now, I just added some more green things because I wanted some more glucose production. I don't know. I think we just need more spikes. Okay, you're a very helpful friend, but could you not? I will stab you. Okay, now that the idiot stick is out of the way, we're going to absorb some more things. We're already ready for the next evolution because I'm just sitting here eating everything that comes at me. But this time, I basically added more glucose and more spikes. The only things I need. Sugar and spikes. Then I need to remember to constantly zoom out because there's so many dead things around I can consume right now. And these make me level up extraordinarily quickly. Look how big my blob is getting. Did you just call me... Blob? No wonder the game is lagging so hard. I think I was running around for so long that everything started starving to death because they were chasing me for too long. There's just constant stuff to eat. No, that's mine. I don't care if you're the same species. I want to get big. This is what the ultimate evolution looks like. Okay, so now I've added some more of these guys, which is going to turn my glucose into ATP. So we're doing good ATP-wise. We have a huge surplus there, but we're not going to have as much glucose. We're going to need to probably manually farm that a little bit. Luckily for me, we had a large store of that, and we're going to sit in this. That way, when we do upgrade again, we have everything we need right in front of our face. I don't know if I should be concerned or not right now. It's getting hard to tell what's my friend or not. I guess as long as I impale them and they die, then they're probably not my friend. They're my food. Things are definitely starting to get a little bit more dangerous, but as long as things are coming at me from behind, they've got three spikes currently to deal with. Like, all I gotta do is pump the brakes, and things are gonna die. Oh, not good. Apparently four spikes and four tails is too much for the game. So, let's add a few more. Better yet, we might actually be able to afford having this big thing now. No, we're not quite there yet, but we're getting close. Okay, so after one more thing that turns glucose into ATP, I should be able to get the big evolution next time. And that shouldn't be too hard, considering I'm basically already ready to level up again, and I've got tons of things to eat in front of me. So we're going to go ahead and do that right away while I have this awesome opportunity. So if we slap one of these on, uh, I don't know, probably over here, ATP production is still too low, but not by very much at all. So we'll probably just add a few more red things. Our glucose is slightly in a deficit right now, but the ATP is so far out now that I should be able to afford it next time. I'm actually hesitant to head in this direction because there's so much going on. Not because I'm afraid of dying, but because I'm afraid of the game crashing on me. But it seems okay so far, and I've got lots of stuff to eat. This is why I need to be faster. The fastest one always gets the food, just like in real life. And I'm basically just gonna gorge myself on all this stuff. Look at all my tails and spikes already, and I haven't even eaten all this stuff yet. I've still got tons of room for storage too. My thing is very gluttonous. It's just gonna keep eating and eating and eating. So now can we have our big thing? Yes, we can. We've got a little bit of points left over, but no mutation points. But that did also unlock some new things. These can produce glucose at a huge rate. These can turn glucose into ATP at a huge rate. And they do this all at different rates depending on the conditions around us. So for the first time, we have a cell that's this big and it's huge now. Look at all this stuff around us dying though. Uh, I'm a little nervous. Our spikes get bigger with our size though too. Okay, so next I'm going to add a thermoplast, which simply produces glucose at a large rate. I'm going to throw that probably up front, and the next time we are going to move to somewhere a little warm. But not before adding another defensive spike, probably out the side. Uh, apparently I have thrived. I have won this version of Thrive, which is great because definitely my goal throughout all of this was just to add as many spikes as possible to these things. Definitely going to need a warmer spot though to produce more glucose. The level is dropping. It's slow, but it's dropping. We need to be producing. Get out of my way, my spikes are bigger than yours. So until we get some spikes that are like on all sides of us, I do need to be fairly careful of everything. Like my spikes are bigger, but if they do still hit me with theirs, I still die. And dying is not conducive to thriving. But I'm pretty happy with the amount of spikes and stuff I have so far. So now we're going to move from here over to here, where we get plus 17 degrees Celsius. And that's going to help us produce more. And I think we've earned ourselves another spike. You can barely see it over there on the edge because our creature is getting big, but that's one more spike. You know what, let's add two, just because we can. Now I'm feeling extra safe. Look at these little guys. I do need some forward facing spikes so it's a little hard to try and turn into them all the time. I don't even know what killed me there. Maybe I should focus on some speed again because I'm not feeling particularly quick these days. We are producing glucose at a pretty good rate though so I'm pretty happy about that. But I definitely do also need more speed and some forward facing spikes. And I can add extra speed and one spike without having to change anything so far so that's pretty fun. And so far, I'm really liking what this creature looks like. We're also losing glucose at this point, probably because of what I just added, but that's perfectly okay for now. We've got lots of stories of that, plus we can defeat pretty much anything that comes at us at this point. And we're so massively big that we eat a lot of stuff as we swim through it. 
and I think I see now, because I'm so big and have so many tails, as I move, my energy level drops, so I need to stop and rest for that to go back up. It doesn't take very long, but I do need to stop once in a while. I also need to be watching for when creatures like mine die, because they drop all that good stuff. Look at all those beautiful spikes and appendages. And look at this species population. It was getting better and better and better, now it's definitely the dominant species. So I've added another thing that converts glucose into ATP, and the next time I'm gonna add ATP boost, and then we're gonna add more spikes again. This guy's weak, I can tell he's weak, so I'm just gonna wait for him to die, then take all of his stuff. Oh, I can actually stab him. Didn't know I could do that to my own, uh, type. I move very slow to do this, but I'm definitely going to take this stuff, and I gotta watch out for that other guy who's trying to stab me also. Uh-oh. Defensive maneuvers! Everyone spin! Everyone die! I don't know if the other creatures are scared of me, but they're keeping more distance than they used to. But that's probably also because my spikes are so big. So I managed to survive, and I'm just trying to scoop up all the body parts I can. I particularly want this egg thing because I know what that is, and I think it's going to feed me the best out of anything. Look at all the parts around. That's probably because I just filled the ocean with spikes. So let's just go ahead and add a little bit more stabby goodness. And here's what we look like by default now before osmosis. The game still not loving this, not a big surprise there, there's a lot going on. Maybe I should try turning myself into silica. I'll be slower, but I can't really get much slower, but I have minus 40% osmo regulation cost, 80 plus health, and 60% physical resistance, I'll be much tougher. Let's just go for that and see what happens. That's how evolution works, right? No problem throughout history could ever not be solved with spikes. See, like this guy over here, he wants to come and fight, he's dead now. Without cannibalizing other creatures, it takes me a long time to get the points I need to evolve. In case you're wondering what this thing looks like zoomed in on, that's it. Finally, can evolve again. I see, it says they're right at the bottom. Cannot engulf. Well, I'm going back to normal then, because if I cannot engulf, I cannot thrive. And the ocean at this point is basically made of body parts, so I'm going to help myself to most of those. This gentleman down below is trying to take my food. He doesn't realize he's going to ram his face into my spikes. He is, of course, damage resistant, but... My spikes have all day. I popped one of them, now I just gotta pop this other gentleman. And we're just gonna wiggle back and forth on him until, whoops, he pops. There we go. And then I've just added one more wiggler for extra speed. Pretty close to satisfied. Just need a little more speed. My ATP definitely drops, my energy definitely drops very quickly like this, but that's okay. That just means I have to stop to take a break once in a while, and then wait for other things to die, and then consume them. And just like that, I'm already ready to evolve again. I'm just gonna need a little bit more before I do. And with one little piece, I put my ATP production back into the positive. I just need to remember to eat lots of glucose, because I currently have zero of it, and I need that to survive. And I died. Alright, I think we found the tipping point, but I'm pretty happy with my success today. We basically made a horrible ball of spikes that doesn't do much of anything at all, but it thrives.